Stanford University. The higher carbon dioxide over cities increases air pollution, and the increased air pollution enhances health problems associated with air pollution. Now, so what is the effect of all this higher air pollution? It's about an additional in the United States and an additional 300 to 1,000 deaths per year uh, compared to the background air pollution death rate of 50,000 to 100,000 deaths per year. In, in a place like Los Angeles or in California, it's about another 50 to 100 deaths per year. There has been no previous study looking at the effects of carbon dioxide domes over cities on air pollution health. And no air pollution regulation exists for carbon dioxide based on its local air pollution effect. This study provides a basis for regulating carbon dioxide on its local impacts. Previously, carbon dioxide has not been regulated based on its local impacts on air pollution or health. One of the other implications of this study is that it pokes a hole in the idea of cap and trade, in the sense that cap and trade assumes that there's no uh, local impact of local CO2 emissions. It assumes that uh, there's a total amount of CO2 that can be emitted and polluters can trade where the emissions occur without any concern about the local impacts. However, it is found here that local CO2 increases local air pollution. So this exposes a fundamental flaw in the idea behind the cap and trade proposal. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.